The Kingdom of Galen. Once upon a time, in a land far, far away, there lived a small but proud kingdom. This kingdom was known as the Kingdom of Galen. In this kingdom, there lived four queens, each one just and fair. Each queen was blessed with twins, a prince and a princess. So the kingdom of Galen had eight children in all. Because each prince and princess was so kind, each had two cats. This filled the kingdom of Galen with 16 cats. Each cat in the kingdom was fed eight ounces of milk each day, so they were fairly fat cats. The kingdom required 128 ounces of milk daily from the royal cow. The royal cow felt very useful, so it was happy because the cow was happy. So were the cats because the cats were happy. So were the children because the children were happy. So were the queens and the kingdom of Galen prospered. Okay, you're going to use this story to help you remember the customary units of volume. The Kingdom of Gallon is represented by a capital G. One gallon. The G represents a gallon. Each queen in the story represents a quart. One gallon equals, do you remember how many quarts? Four quarts equaled a gallon. Each prince and princess in the story represents a pint. One quart equals how many pints? Two quart or one quart equals two pints. Each cat in the story represents a cup. So two cups equal a pint, four cups equal a quart, and you can go all the way to a gallon. Now each cat drinks eight ounces of milk each day. So one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. So now I want you to solve the following conversion and then explain how you know your answer is correct. Two quarts equals how many cups? Well, you probably figured that out. It equals eight. Three, oops. Three cups equals how many fluid ounces? Twenty-four fluid ounces equals three cups. Four pints equals how many fluid ounces? Four pints equals sixty-four fluid ounces. One gallon equals... Four quarts, eight pints, 16 cups, 128 ounces, two quarts and eight cups. Hmm.